love my love welcome back to my channel and today we're gonna jump right into it we're talking about mono monotomic gold this is collodial silver but um, I'm gonna hide the, the brand name but this is a uh, collodial silver and monatomic gold okay let me see if I can show you without uh, showing you the brand name because I'm not you know but yeah you see that star gold which is another name for it but um yeah these are two brands that I tried um, as you know this is a homeopathic uh, channel and initially uh, the regiments were all uh, um, food regiments and herbal remedies uh, approach, you know, just lifestyle in general, uh, homeopathy. And now I'm more into a whole mental, uh, I don't know how to, uh, I guess you could say um, full uh, body, uh, mind, body, um, whatever encompass health. We'll just say it like that because I don't know <laughs> just health in general but it's just homeopathy on every level basically but um, I came across this uh, monatomic uh, gold uh, I heard uh, uh, someone on their channel uh, referring to it and I, I don't want to say the name because I'm not you know because I'm gonna have some maybe some different um, thoughts about this or not thoughts, but uh, experiences. I'm gonna share my experiences that I had with monatomic gold and the colloidal silver. I took them both at the same time. Um, but as you know, if you've been watching my channel, I've been kind of progressing. I, I take you guys with me. I'm very transparent in what I'm going through uh, when it comes to homeopathy. Now I'm more into a um, holistic, whole uh spiritual mental and it's not about religion because i'm not preaching um you know do's and don'ts of religion what's right and wrong none of that it's about just feeling your being your most optimal self uh whether that's mentally or physically and so i came across this i heard him uh talking about this on his channel and and about all the benefits of mono uh Am I saying that right? Mono, uh, what is it? Monotomic gold? Am I saying it right? And colloidal silver, if I'm saying it wrong, I'll put it in the, I'll put it up there. But, um, I, uh, so yeah, I bought it off of the website, which was really, um, I mean, it's reasonable, but very expensive in terms of herbal remedies because they're a lot cheaper by the pound, you know, and, but I thought, well, if it's worth it, if it, um, you know, have all these, uh, benefits, which is a lot of viral benefits, it helps with the mind. Um, it was, it is said to help with, uh, just memory and things of that nature, just being quicker and more clear. And I say that everybody can use that. I love things that are, you know, um, homeopathy that um, enhance uh, what's already there or bring you back into a state of renewal from a body or cleanses you on a homeopathic level when it comes to uh, heavy metals and things of that nature and this was said to do a lot of that and then they said it also had spiritual benefits and like I said if you've been watching my channel I've been going through my own um, transformation and I have to say it's been the most beautiful experience that I have had um, I've always been conditioned to look for the Almighty God outside but he blew that breath within us and so um, which brought me to explore that and I'm thankful I have. So my experience of uh, my true nature, um, I've had that experience prior to taking these, which is good, so I know the difference. And I, uh, after 
after taking this, uh, you know, or no, maybe prior to taking this, I, I, I looked up other YouTubers that were talking about it and they were talking about some of their benefits spiritually that they had with it. So I said, well, you know, let's, let's see about this. So um, I took, uh, when I first got mine in, I was so excited that it came in. I took, uh, you know, the lowest dose that you could possibly take. I think maybe a half a teaspoon of each, maybe a teaspoon um, of both together because it, it gave you recommendations of both of how much you should start with. And that's what I did. I did a little under, I think. And I have to say, uh, it was very eye-opening. Um, I've come into pretty much a nature of um, being able to... When you're in a place of peace, um, when you feel, when you go to that quiet space that is within you, um, uh, it's indescribable, okay? Um, when you realize yourself and you know that that is what, you know, it's a place of knowing where you know that God is, is there. He's within us, you know? We always talk about that, but, um, you know, not a lot of us have not experienced it because we're looking for God in outside of ourselves. We're looking for God in a book or somewhere to tell us what to do, but really not how to be. And that is probably the biggest thing I can say about it. It's really you being that Christ, you know, consciousness, if it's, you know, that's your background, whatever the background you are, that is, you know, that expression. Most relig religions, they talk about love. They're all really talking about the same thing. They're all pointing to the same thing from different perspectives. So I'm not here to downplay any of it. I think it's all enriching if you get the right thing. And so seeing from uh, my perspective, uh, when I got these uh, uh, remedies, already knowing that nature, already feeling that nature, already being connected uh, in my experience uh, with not only the source, the almighty God, but everybody around me is like a vibration. You know, you feel the energy of love from others. You feel the energy of love um, from the earth. You feel that energy of the love from animals. I mean, just everything that you come in contact with. And intuitively, you do you do this. I mean, I didn't know it until after it, you know, appeared to be blocked or veiled, you know, uh, that this is my experience. My experience is a deeper experience with not only the earth, but other sentient beings, you know, around me. And it is a feeling of oneness. You don't feel separate from everybody else, you know. It uh, is an amazing um, experience. And I think everybody should, uh, you know, I challenge you all to connect with your true nature because it is, um, un, I have to say, unlike anything else you would ever experience if you haven't already experienced that, but it is uh, unmatched. I'll put it like that. That's the word I'm looking for, unmatched. And so uh, when I talk, when they talked about some of the benefits of this uh, mind, now one thing I have to say, when you are consistently in that realization of your true self, it creates an environment where it's non-dualism. -dual, when I say that, it's like um, you have, when you're in a state of dualism, you'll know because there's mind chatter. The mind is always talking. It's always, you know, it's telling you, no, it's judgmental and it's scary. You know, it's a lot of fear and it's all constant noise. But when you come into the state of your true nature, that noise quiets. And it's weird at first. It's like an alien. It's like, it was alien to me anyway. I never experienced that. And so when it got quiet the first day, it was almost like I was reaching for the noise. Where are you, noise, you know? But it's such a peace. And the more you are in this state, and there's uh, techniques that, you know, I have listed in my last video that kind of show you how to keep that state uh, that uh, you don't really keep anything because it's your natural state, but more so unveiling of the things that are not you, 
uh, some of the tendencies that we have that veils this true nature causes this chatter and this, you know, because it's really you believing something that you're not, that you're this mind body person, you know, that you are a person separate than the source. In reality, we're all one. We all are that breath, that expression, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. I said that to say this, that once I took this, immediately that connection was severed. I could no longer feel the earth. That's how I knew, you know, I had been in this nature for such a, you know, I can't say a long time, but long enough to where I'm used to it now that when it was disconnected, it was, I felt like I was alone. And that's how I felt prior to being in um, this true nature. Once I took this monatomic gold and this colloidal silver together, I don't know which one or whether both of them do it. I mean, it gives you a state of artificial no mind. I have to say that. Now, if you want to feel with the state of not having the mind chatter, you can take this, but this is not God. This is not the source. This is by far, uh, I wouldn't even say second best, okay? It's by far inferior to your true nature and to everything, the expressions that you have. This is a tool. Monatomic uh, gold and um, monatomic gold and colloidal silver are just tools. These are not God in a bottle. And I want to let everyone know that this is no match for the truth. And I have to say, when I came into this, I didn't do, some people go into psychedelics and other enhancements. Sure, I've tried marijuana uh, in, in my past, but on this, this journeyless journey, um, no ma'am, no sir. I did it in an organic way because I wanted to know um, how, how it really is without tools, really. And not only that, that's not the reason I just did it. I never thought about tools until I got into this and I realized some people did mushrooms and psychedelic and ayahuasca. What do you call that? Ayahuasca or something like that. But they did these things to try to reach their true nature, try to have that experience. But I have to say, even when you do a tool, you have to keep doing a tool. And then not only that, when you're off of it, then you don't know how to get back there without it because the tool gave you a artificial supreme self, but it's no, it's no, it's nothing. I mean, it's nothing in comparison. And not only that, I have to say, when you take tools and you do decide, okay, I want to stop, then you don't know. It's almost like you're having to start over again. So you might as well not even start. Because if I have to start over again, I have to learn myself. I have to learn what it is that calls me this mind to chatter. I have to learn what causes me to feel separated. Because these are all things that you have to work on. It's like any muscle. Um, you know, a muscle you have to, or, or any, um, when people are doing sports, you know, you have to train your body in a way to master that craft, that sport, or whatever it is in life, whether it's a business, uh, you start from the bottom. So when you get to the top, if you ever fall, you know how to get there again and quick. So these techniques you want to do is non-tool techniques, techniques like maybe breathing, yoga, um, silent sitting is what I call it instead of meditation, because really um, techniques, to if you're doing this to get to yourself. Now, some of the people are just taking it for um, medicinal purposes. Now, if you're doing that, go for it. If you're not really have a pull within your heart and you're looking to, to find your true nature, and then this video is not for you. Um, this video is really for people who are um, looking for their true nature, you know, and they're doing this because they think this is gonna help them. Um, feel that way or, or, or this is a, a tool that they can use every day, you know, and and uh, to get back to home. Now, this is for those kind of people. Now, I think this will be good for maybe autistic children, maybe, 
autism or something of that nature. I don't know if science has looked into it because it truly does give you the no mind state. But is it real? All tools of practice, one day you're going to have to stop practicing because then if you start a practice, you have to keep a practice. So you always want to not look at things as this is a practice. These are just things that you're using right now to get to the next level that you're trying to get to within your own being. You know, you're just trying to get to that place, that quiet place where it's non-dualistic to where your mind where it goes into your heart and starts to work for you and not against you. That perfect place of peace, that real you that you are, which is not a fictitious person, but you are really an extension of the Almighty, that breath of life that he's put in all of us. So I wanted to share that from a perspective of our true nature, because I don't, you know, I hear a lot of stuff on um, online, but I never heard it from this perspective. And I wanted to put this online to give in a perspective of your true nature. This is not it. Um, this is a tool. And once you stop taking this tool, you're going to have to start from square one, learning yourself. What well, I guess this will give you some goals to get to. But as long as you're on this, these tools and um, for the no mind state, um, or what they call no mind, really you have a mind. It's just out of order right now. Um, most people, I won't say it all, but those who are in the state of dualism or have the chatter that's going on, um, uh, yeah, the, that the mind is, it's, a, it's, it's out of balance, really. So to bring yourself back in balance, I, I implore you to just do the work. <laughs> and it's the workless work because there's really nothing you can do. Really, if you just let go, you'll find yourself quick. You know, that's what it's all about. Stop trying to control, you know, stop trying to get in there. Just let go. Allow the source. Talk to yourself. Talk to your heart. Your heart will listen to you. Yourself will listen to you. Yourself never went anywhere. It's there. It's just veiled. And so um, I wanted those who were taking this monatomic gold and I don't know, the Chloe the Silver, I don't know how it is by itself. I just don't want to do it again, really. That first experience was so traumatic for me that I said, I'm not taking it again. I felt so lost. I was walking and I felt disconnected from the energy source. I felt disconnected from other people, other beings. I felt disconnected from... I don't know. It was just a very lost feeling that I haven't felt in quite some time. And I've gotten used to feeling connected to Mother Gaia, as they call her, Gaia, the Mother Earth. <laughs> and she's really a being. She's alive. I mean, you know, it's all consciousness, so it's alive. You can feel that energy. And it is a beautiful energy. It's a feeling, an energy of love. You can feel her. She loves you. When the universe works with you, it's a beautiful experience. You're able to manifest. You're able to, um, it's just a pleather of, of beauty. It, it, the universe really does work with you and not against you. When you're in the right state of mind, I'll say consciousness. <laughs> When you're in your right mind, uh, you know, it, uh, the Almighty starts to to work with you in a, in a much more beautiful way. So I'm going to leave you with that. I don't want to keep going on and on and on about it. But yeah, um, no for me. It's a no for me, a hard no for me, okay? Because uh, I was going to be say something goofy. Uh, but it didn't come out anyway it's a hard no for me I'm not uh, yeah no mm -mm. no no if someone's doing this and they think this is the source it's not it's not you're gonna have to stop this and you got to figure out how to get where you got where you think you've gotten because this is not even on the level of your true self it's not even on the level so um, anyway, for all the other benefits, sure, if you're not looking for that and all you're doing is uh, it for health purposes, go right ahead, I say, you know, because this is not for everyone. 
Finding your true nature, everybody doesn't want to do that. Everybody doesn't understand that. Some people think that, oh, what is she doing? Is she doing, is this a religious thing? No, I'm not saying stop your religion or any, you don't have to do any of that to find yourself, you know? And then once you get there now, to, to keep it, you're going to have to unveil some of these things that are, you know, keeping you from yourself. But once you find yourself, I believe me, you're going to do everything you need in order to, to, uh, maintain or establish that nature because you're going to love that that place of peace who doesn't love what we call heaven <laughs> anyway i'm gonna leave you with that thank you for watching this uh, this video um to all my subscribers thank you i love you i do this for you um remember to like share and subscribe remember that you are beautiful and